Hi fellow traders. I'm going to uh, recap my trades from today. Um, you know the first one I kind of you know in looking at this I kind of forced myself to make this trade. Um, there's really no reason for me to trade it. Um, I just I guess I felt like I needed to take a trade because I had been kind of watching all morning and nothing really set up but you know I really wanted to take a trade and you know I was watching this ticker you know and this level held up 20 held up um, I saw some support on the daily you know right here is right around the, the $20 mark and it kind of bounced off of that between it and VWAP you know for for most of the morning the first hour and I didn't want to take the short from VWAP I knew eventually this was going to fade uh, at least that's where I felt because it wasn't moving up and it was basing here um, the 9 was trending down and I really felt that this was you know the time for it to, to fade I didn't want to take it out the VWAP because the 9 was so close and I didn't want to take it, you know, once it cracked the nine because, you know, I didn't know if this was going to hold or not. So I wanted to wait until it gave me, you know, a signal to kind of crack this. And I felt that this was a good trade to get into because, every, you know, the nine was trending down. And it's what I look for. You know, it's basing here. It's trending down. And... I'm expecting this to put pressure on on this ticker and you know help it to lose this this um, area of support but you know it came I did get the crack that I was looking for but then it got bought right back up and it came back and tested VWAP again and you know at that point it should have been a short you know from the VWAP down but again by by then you know I was pretty upset that it didn't go here and that I got stopped out that I didn't keep my head in the game and you know take the trade here and this would have been a nice trade you know from here you know on down to the 1970s and this would have been my target Anyway, I would have lightened up here, and if it started to turn, I would have gotten all the way out. I was really expecting a, a more of a fade off of this once it cracked the 20, but it didn't. You know, this it held right here at the lower deviation band, and you know, but I just kind of botched this trade because I didn't keep my head on it and you know get back in it right here when I when I should have um but you know it wasn't too that that was what I was mad about I wasn't mad about this because this was a setup that I looked for um and you know I took it didn't work out the secondary you know the second time it did work out but unfortunately I wasn't um in the trade but I went to lunch and came back and usually you know after lunch I'm watching um, reversal scanners so you know I get back from lunch and this is the first one that I'm looking at um, is DD and you know it was still coming down I didn't think it was ready to reverse when it hit the scanner and again I think it was kind of right in here when I was looking at it and you can see that would have been a good place to short it, you know, all the way down here. But, you know, I was waiting for the reversal, you know, looking for the bounce. Um, and it came down and bounced here. And a lot of times when you get a long candle like this, and then this candle opens up, you know, higher than the low on this, it kind of gives me, you know, the, the indication that this thing is going to try to reverse. So 
I made up my mind that I was going to take this trade. And if I got in here, then I got in, I think at 71.90 was when it, when it filled. I still had, um, you know, 15 cent stop, which was great. You know, my stop would have been the low of this. If it would have come back and broke, broken this, then I would have stopped back out. But I got in um, 7190 and it popped up, you know, nice move up. And it didn't quite make the nine. But, and the reason why I took this trade also was because it was a long way from here to the nine. So if it did come up and tap the nine, that was a 50 or 60 cent scalp which you know is not bad on this ticket um but you know i got in it came up and you know fell back you know opened a little bit lower ran up and it opened it ran up touched this lower deviation band came back down um i mean i'm still in it i am a little leery of it you know, so and the nine is coming down, everything's trending down, but I'm looking at this ticker and it's making, you know, higher lows. So I'm I'm gonna still be in it. You know, I'm waiting for it. You know, I said when it got to the nine, I was gonna take some off. And when it got to the twenty, I would take some off. But if it held and went to push I would add back for the move up here to the VWAP. Well, at the time, um, I was the only mod in the in the uh, in chat, so I was trying to get my screen share up, and I actually missed this candle here, and really could have gotten in here, you know, when it came back a little bit, but that really isn't my setup. That's not my strategy. So you know, I I missed this move. And I just kind of watched it get up, and then I got out my position, you know, here at VWAP. And then here was another um, good entry here where you could have gotten in here when it came back and tested the nine and held it. And, you know, made a nice strong move up through the 200 um, moving average. So, you know, this this was pretty strong, but look, less than 200,000 shares of volume on each five-minute candle. I mean, it made this strong move on, you know, anywhere between 75, you know, and 100,000 shares. It just made this strong move up. And what I was talking about earlier was... I really don't like to trade these unless they're over 200,000 shares of volume on a five minute candle. But you don't see that anymore. I mean, rarely do you see, I think this one, this candle did get 199,000 shares traded, but that was where it sold off up here. You know, once it came up close to the um, 200 day moving average. But and this is what I had to, you know, adapt to. Is just to change my volume parameters. Let's drop it down and just kind of trade the price action. If it sets up, you know, take the trade. Um, the, the spread was good. You know, didn't have any issues with it. And, and this was just a classic reversal. Yeah, it chopped around a little bit. I mean, that might have been product of um, low volume, but it didn't give you any big swings up, you know, over and under the um, moving averages. And that's what I use to um, manage my trade is the moving averages and then the VWAP. And, you know, that's just me. That's just how I pick my profit targets and, you know, kind of base my trade off of. So um, that's all I did um, today. Hopefully tomorrow, you know, I'll get some more trades in. Um, you know, it's Friday, so I'm not sure. 
but you know I'm looking to start Monday strong um, I've got a little bit of confidence in you know the tweaks I've made and the progress that I've made over the last month so you know time will tell you know I want to end this year strong and and um you know start next year off with a bang but hopefully uh, what I did made sense uh, I am a little tired and a little stressed but you know long day trading um, long afternoon with the kids so that's that's pretty much uh, par for the course so if you want to uh, contact me or ask me any questions um, you know you can hit me up on Skype average Joe trader same on Twitter um, email ed at warriortrading.com um, you can check out my blog it still has some good stuff on it I am um, doing a blog on some stuff that I've come up with um, things that thoughts that I have on how my trading has or how I've had to adapt and all of that so should have that up this weekend um, but I hope to see everybody in um, chat tomorrow and hope everybody has a good evening and you know let's end the week with a bang